Toronto was once called a city of churches. Many were built more than 100 years ago and communities grew around them. But at a time when their Christian congregations are declining, newer immigrants are struggling to find affordable land to build their houses of worship. We want to maintain and protect our faith. We want, you know, uh, pass that to our children. We want them to be a good Canadian citizens. Saeed Raga is the imam for the Sakana Mosque. With a congregation of 3,000, they needed to find a large space for their mosque, school and community centre. This is where they ended up. This is a temporary gym that we created for the youth, for the kids. On May 3, 2013, this document shows they put an offer in on this Scarborough Industrial Building with a $200,000 deposit and a $4.6 million price tag. The problem is, just six days later, City Council adopted a new zoning bylaw, harmonizing Scarborough with the rest of the city. The end result? This is an industrial zone and places of worship are not a permitted use. The Sakana Mosque still moved in and operated for two years until the city shut them down for violating fire codes. They say they couldn't get permits to do the work to bring the building to code and can't afford another property in a commercial or residential zone where prices are significantly higher. By the city of, city of Toronto implementing these new bylaws, they're killing us. That's, this is the end of a, a, a faith-based organization. It does raise a larger issue. Where can these newer communities afford to build their houses of worship? Other religious leaders are supporting the Sakana Mosque in its battle with the city. We have heard about it and we are a little bit offended or rather disappointed. If they have to move kilometers, many kilometers away from the city, it's going to alienate their constituency, they're not going to be able to get to those places and so it has a huge implication. Last week, members of the mosque's congregation went to City Hall to appeal to the mayor. He's promised to look into their concerns. What can be done though is another matter. City staff maintain industrial lands need to be protected so jobs stay in the city. The danger though is alienating groups who have come to this country. If the city is forcing us uh, to be away from the city or to be in an area that we cannot afford. We, be there, we feel that we are not welcome and we're not wanted. And, and that is not, not what, that, that's not the reason why we're here in Canada. Now, several religious groups say they will be at the next city council meeting to ask for this bylaw to be changed back. And they also want to show their support for the Sakana Community Centre.